Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm going to be sharing my February favorites. I have a variety of favorites like I always do. So I have beauty, home related, cleaning, entertainment, food, and all kinds of different things that I wanted to share with you. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, let's jump in because I have a lot of stuff to share with you. I'll go ahead and start with beauty. One thing that I have been loving is the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. I got a free sample when I bought some Benefit mascara and I went ahead and got the full size because this stuff is awesome. I'm still using the Neutrogena Natural Skin Care, but they don't have an eye cream, and my eye area is very sensitive, and when I tried this, um, they, gave you, they give you enough to try for like a couple weeks, and I didn't have any bad reaction, but I really like it because it's not uh, greasy, so you can wear it under your makeup, and I did notice a difference it made my eye area a lot brighter so definitely recommend this this stuff is awesome I, I also have a new under eye concealer that I am loving I have tried tons of under eye concealers from drugstore to high-end and everything in between and things that were recommended and everything but this is by far my favorite this is the derma blend professional smooth liquid camo medium coverage concealer and you can use it for other areas but i mainly just conceal under my eyes and i love this it's the perfect texture it covers really well but it doesn't crease this stuff is awesome if you're looking for a good under eye concealer i highly recommend this one i bought it at ulta and you guys know that i'm a huge fan of zoya nail polish but i just recently started using their fast dry drops they're a little on the pricey side and i just figured you know i always wait and let my nails dry but I think it was around Black Friday, they had a 70% off sale on everything on their site. And so I figured I would try these out. So these work so well, especially for the cream polishes. Those seem to take a long time to dry. So I usually use it with those polishes and it works so well. And I've noticed when I use it, my nail polish lasts a little bit longer. So yeah, these are great. Let me know if you've already tried these. I have a few accessories to share with you as well. So I got these boots a while ago and I never showed them in a video, but I talked about ordering them. I was on the lookout for black leather boots that looked really classic, like they aren't going to go out of style next year or anything. I wanted something with a heel and just a really classic boot that I could wear with skirts or pants or whatever. So these are Vince Camuto. I've had them for a few months, but I love them and I've been wearing them a lot lately. I'm like six feet tall when I wear these and I love it, um, but they're really nice. I got these off of the Dillard site and I'll put the actual name of the boots. I forgot to look, sorry, but I'll put the, the name of the boot on. And they do have this in here, so they're kind of stretched out, but just to protect the shape of them. But they fit really well. They aren't super wide or anything, um, so I really, really like these. I also have a couple pieces of jewelry. I love jewelry. It is totally my thing. I pare it down all the time and I try not to buy things that I don't think I'm going to wear, but jewelry does go out of style and you need the right pieces for your outfit, right? <laughs> yeah, that's my excuse. Um, but anyway, I love these bracelets. I got these from New York and Company. You can see the little tassel. They're super cute. It's like rose gold and gold and kind of pink I guess. I also recently just discovered Stella and Dot. No one around me sells it which is pretty amazing because I know someone who sells just about everything but I had heard of it but never really checked it out since I didn't really know anyone who sold it. So one of my viewers actually sent me the scarf that I was wearing in my cook with me video and it's super nice and great quality and she sent a catalog as well and looking through I was like this is so my style. I love everything in this catalog. So this necklace I just got from Stella and Dot. Super cute, I love it. I was wearing this in one of my videos 
recently. But I'll link my viewers link for Stella and Dot. It's not an affiliate link for me or anything, but I love all of their stuff. So I think you guys will too. And if you see something you like, then you can show her a little love. And then I got this apron. It says, life is short, dance in the kitchen. I showed the picture of this on Instagram, but I think this is so cute. It's so me. Love playing my music and dancing in the kitchen. It makes clean up so much better. So I thought this was super cute. It was only like $5.99 at HomeGoods. It's not super thick, so it's probably not going to last forever, but it's decent quality. Next up, I have some cleaning products that I have been loving this month. So at the beginning of the month, or maybe it was at the end of last month, I got the Method Wood Floor Cleaner. It's almond scented, it smells so good. And it is a squirt and mop, so you can use it that way, but I just put it in my Rubbermaid Reveal Mop with a little bit of water. It makes sure floor is so shiny and what I really like about it is that it dries quickly so I don't have to do my towel dance although that's pretty funny and John likes to laugh at me um it's really nice because it just dries like I kind of back myself out of the room but I don't have to go back over it with a towel so it's really really great I've tried lots of hardwood floor cleaners and this one I like the best it makes my floors really nice and shiny and I love that it dries quickly Another Method product that I can't believe I didn't know about is the stainless steel cleaner. So I got it off of Grove Collaborative and this stuff is awesome. This one is plant-based so it's, you know, safer for the environment, it's non-toxic and everything. This is great, it makes sure appliances really nice and shiny and so I've been loving this. I have been kind of obsessed with trying the Mrs. Myers scents, so I kind of want to try them all. So as I get my Grove collaborative orders, I always select different scents. So my favorite so far is the one that they just have in the fall, which I think is apple cider that smells so good. But I was using the Mom multi-purpose spray and I love that scent. I used it all and put it in the recycling and they already took it away or I would show you, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That's one of my favorite scents and I've tried lots of others. I really love that one. And then I knew they had a basil scent and I was thinking it was going to have like an herbal kind of scent and I didn't want my bathroom to smell that way. So I had a um, free hand soap in my cart so I'm like, oh, I'll try that and I could put it in my bathroom. It smells so good. It's not herbal at all. And I'm like, this is great. Like it would smell great in a bathroom. And I know a lot of you said it was your favorite scent, but I thought, well, maybe for the kitchen or something, but it would definitely smell great in the bathroom. And I did want to say this isn't sponsored or anything, but if you want to use the Grove Collaborative link to get all of that free Mrs. Meyer stuff, it's still good. So you can definitely check that out. It will be in my description box. Next up I have food and beverage. So I am not a huge Starbucks fan. Like I'm definitely not one of those people that go there all the time. I like their drinks, don't get me wrong, but I've never been a huge fan of just their regular coffee. And I kind of feel like going there all the time is, it just feels like they charge too much for what you're actually getting. And I would rather spend my money on other stuff until I tried the green tea latte. Oh my word. I want one like every day. I definitely don't get one every day, but those things are so good. I went in there. Um, I had some time in between appointments and I wasn't close to my house and I was like, oh, this is so good. Do they put stuff in here to make you completely addicted? And that what that's why everybody comes here every day and spends like four to five dollars on a coffee or a tea. Um, but I am definitely not the type to go every day or anything. I've only had a couple, but the green tea latte from Starbucks is so so good. I love it. And then the other food items are from Trader Joe's. They're seasoning. So I got the everything but the bagel seasoning. This is newer at Trader Joe's and it is so good on avocado toast. And someone was like, oh, you should spread some Parme or, uh, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese on a piece of toast. I have to eat gluten-free and they do make 
gluten-free bagels, but they're probably as hard as a rock, just like every other gluten-free <laughs> free thing. But anyway, um, I put it on avocado toast and it's so good. I definitely need to get some cream cheese and try it so, to see if it tastes like an everything bagel. But um, yeah, super good. And then the chili lime seasoning blend. This is newer. It's been out for a while, but I just finally bought it and it is super good. You can use this on just about anything. I've used it in rice before, in quinoa. I used it when I was making my fajitas in my Cook With Me video, but it just has sea salt, chili pepper, red bell pepper, lime juice powder, citric acid, rice concentrate. So, super good. Oh, and one of my favorite things to eat is that quinoa salad in that Cook With Me video. It's so, so good. It's like you make this big old bowl and you know, it's enough for like three days of like a pretty good size serving, but then you like have your lunch and then later in the day when you get hungry, you're like, I have that quinoa salad in the refrigerator. It's super good. Let me know if you try that recipe. And I have a few entertainment type of things. So This Is Us has been my favorite show. I've been watching it for a few months, but I haven't mentioned it in a favorites video. I mentioned it in a few vlogs, but that show is so good. I love it. It has me crying almost every time. It's so well done. Love that show. Let me know if you watch it. And then we mentioned recently Kevin Can Wait with Kevin James. It's just a um, sit, you know sitcom 30 minute show, but he's so funny. And we always loved Kevin James in King of Queens. And then obviously he's been in movies before, but I really like the movie Hitch with Will Smith and he plays a different role in that movie and it's so funny. But anyway, those are the two shows that we have been loving. And then I don't actually have this game yet, but I've played it a few times with friends and it's the game Hoopla. It's so fun. Let me know if you guys have played it, but I'll leave an Amazon link. I don't think you can find it in stores. I think you have to get it on Amazon and we just haven't ordered it yet, but it's a really fun game that you can play with a lot of people and that's one of the reasons why I want to get it because now that our kids are older and our friends' kids, um, some of them are younger and some of them are older, it's just a fun thing to do if you invite like multiple people over or families with teenagers so you you know can hang out and play games after dinner. So I'll let you check that out if you're interested. I could explain it, but it would take a long time and you might not want to listen to me explain a game that you can't see. But it's super fun and definitely a fun game for lots of people. And then I have one song, I narrowed it down to one song that I have been playing on repeat lately. I love music. Literally, I have every type of music that I listen to. I like 80s, I lo love country, and everything in between. <laughs> so the song is uh, Make You Miss Me by Sam Hunt. The words don't have anything to do with my life. It's basically him talking about a girl that's gonna miss him, but I just love singing along with that song and I love the beat and they don't play it on the radio a ton in my area. It's been out for a while. You guys know I love to read murder mysteries and or mysteries in general but the author I have been loving lately is Tana French and she has several novels out and I believe I just have one. I got this one from the library. This is the latest one that she wrote. It's The Trespasser. I haven't started reading this one yet. I'm sure it'll be good, but I am currently reading The Likeness. This book is so good. I didn't read her books in order. Um, I was kind of new to this author, even though she's a really popular author, and I picked up one and I think it was like right in the middle of the series, but you don't necessarily have to read them in order. But anyway, what I really think is cool about her is all of the novels kind of go together as far as like they're, they're the same characters, but it's always written in the first person narrative, but it's a different, character each time. So this one that I'm reading, Casey is the one, the main character, and it's writ written from her perspective. But in the last one, it was written from her partner's perspective, um, who is a man. So it, it's just a different um, character each time, and I think it's so cool. And this book is just really fascinating. 
All right, I, I tried to explain what the book was about, but I don't want to give too much detail. So let me just say, it's really good. It's basically about an undercover detective who finds someone murdered who was using her IG when she was undercover. So she goes in and you know, tries to figure out why this girl was using her ID and who she really was and who murdered her, just to make it brief. I not want to give too much away, but it's such a good book. I can't wait to read more. Okay, guys, I like to share scripture in my favorites video, and this is the last thing I'm going to share. I would love for you to listen, but if you find it offensive or don't want to listen to it, then this is all I'm going to share, and then I'll end the video after that. I have a favorite Christian song that I have been loving. It's the newer version of Just As I Am. That's been out for a while, but I just love it. And I love the chorus. It says, I come broken to be mended. I come wounded to be healed. I come desperate to be rescued. I come empty to be filled. I come guilty to be pardoned by the blood of Christ the Lamb, and I'm welcomed with open arms, praise God, just as I am. I really love this song. I love the words, and it's a good reminder that God accepts us through Jesus Christ just as we are. We don't have to clean up our act. We don't have to get it together first. We come to him just as we are, and he will pardon and forgive us and love us and i just really really like that song i also wanted to share some scripture that goes along with that song this is a very common scripture so it's matthew 11 28 through 30 come to me all who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so I think it's just such a great reminder that we can come to Jesus just as we are and his burden is light. It's not heavy, it's not enslaving, it's freeing. And it's a good reminder because sometimes people view Christianity as like this list of all these rules and things that you need to stick to and it's it's definitely obeying God, but it's so much more than that. It's coming and releasing the burden rather than putting a burden on you because Jesus paid for our sins. So we don't have to feel that burden anymore. So I just wanted to share that with you and encourage you. If I can find a link to the song, I will link it below, but it's such a great song in case you haven't heard it. And I'll also um, put the scripture below for you. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorites are from the month of February. Thanks so much for watching, guys.